Hi, I'm Clayton Pattison with Fruno Technical Support, and today we're talking about the GP1871 and 1971F combination units. Specifically, we're going to talk about the fish finder. Now, we can run a couple of different transducers types on this machine. The fish finder is built into the unit itself, and we can run a traditional uh, 50 and 200 kilohertz uh, transducer at either 600 or 1000 watts, or we can run a single frequency or single band. Uh, true echo chirp transducer, either low, high, or mid frequency. Now, on this one, we've got it set up as a mid frequency single band chirp, and I'm just going to show you a few basics on how to run the fish finder. If we swipe up from the bottom, this is our edge swipe menu. This gives us the ability to can change our uh, frequency, either single or dual frequency, turn on and off res boost, A scope, bottom discrimination, AccuFish. Uh, there's a number of different things we can do in here. We can also change frequency, if we're using a dual frequency transducer, we can actually change frequency right down here in the lower left. This little icon that says MF for mid frequency right now, or medium frequency. If it was a dual frequency transducer, we could actually switch back and forth between high and low. We also have some basic sounder settings under the gear icon down here in the lower left as well. This gives us the ability to change between our manual modes of fishing, auto fish, auto cruise, or manual. Here's our manual gain control, auto range on and off. We can actually stop and start the transmission, which is very handy if the boat is out of the water. And we don't want to damage the transducer. Um, we can also change sensitivity in our TVG levels. If we want to get a little bit more into the weeds on settings, you can always go into home, settings, fish finder, and here's everything else. Now, what we can also do is we can, say if we see a target we want to mark and come back to the fish, I can touch on that target, create a new point, and it will drop that onto the plotter for us to navigate back to and fish. Say, for example, we also want to do that in a historical, so we can scroll back anywhere in this historical recording and touch on a target and create a waypoint, and it will drop the waypoint on the map where we were when that was marked. We can also, we also have the ability to use post-processing gain, which means if I come in here and I change the gain value on manual to say 100%, it's not only gonna change the gain on the stuff that we're recording right now, but also all of the historic data that we've already recorded is also edited as well. 